Welcome is a charitable foundation with a mission. We want to improve health for everyone by helping great ideas thrive. We support researchers and scientists. We take on the world's biggest health challenges. We campaign for better science and we work with businesses, governments, civil society and charities to help everyone get involved with science and health research. Our founder, Sir Henry Welcome, was a medical entrepreneur and collector, fascinated by, in his own words, the art and science of healing throughout the ages. When he died, his will established the politically and financially independent charity we know today. This independence helps us shape policy through advocacy, campaigns, and partnerships, all with the aim to help people across the world explore great ideas that will ultimately improve health. Welcome directly funds thousands of scientists and researchers around the world at every step of the way, from discovery to impact. We provide funding to a wide range of medical initiatives, but also in engaging the public. This bridges the gap between Welcome and society so that research and innovation are trustworthy and valued. We identify areas in which Welcome can lead significant change, aiming to transform the global response to some of today's biggest health challenges. Issues like COVID-19 or drug-resistant infections, vaccines, mental health, or the relationship between the planet's health and our own. Through creative platforms like the Welcome Photography Prize, we ensure that these powerful human stories are seen and heard by policymakers to succeed in our mission of improving health. When we put together the Welcome Photography Prize, we wanted a diverse range of, of judges, um, different perspectives, different backgrounds. Uh, we wanted to explore areas that we had not explored before. Uh, we wanted to bring science into health, into medicine, into communities, into how it affected people's lives, how it affected individuals, their families. It's become a really important part of our year. It's about the human face of health issues. It's about reaching uh, beyond the sort of normal way of thinking about things and thinking about them in a different way, bringing people into those questions, those debates, and, and yes, sometimes challenging us to think about these issues, mental health or other issues, in a different way. Good photography can capture empathy, can capture caring, the fears, the frustrations. People working on health issues out there, it's perhaps the sector that's always fixated on advancement. And I think the photography should be adjusting and updating and transforming the photographic language that we use on the health front. What's most important to me is that there's an emotional quality to the image. I think particularly in this area of subject matter, it's super important for it to be there so that you can't look at images clinically, that you have to experience them in some way. You have a combination of very technical people in the photography field and then a combination of health folks as well. And it's really interesting to see what the differences in opinion are. And I think in terms of trying to find a way to come together and answer that, it's been a process. I think each discussion is individual and fluid based on the merits of each individual picture. I think it's important that we are able to talk about all of these issues. I don't think there's any um, issue that we should sort of sleep under the carpet. A lot of these um, mental health or health issues are better addressed through conversation and through sharing. And that's what photography can do. I think we've almost exclusively in all of the images avoided a mid-ground and that probably suggests the, that we've challenged them and they've been made to think uh, outside the box, as I have, because some of the images, yeah, are really challenging, and we shouldn't shy away from that. <laughs>